Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 76 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So as you can see today we've got a bit of a dramatic look. I've got a new background up with these lovely hanging lights and some very <laughs> dramatic makeup. Um, it's piled on today. I took um, inspiration from, um, let me grab the palette. From this palette, the KKW So Fire collection. I got this last year and I absolutely love it. I love her cosmetics. They're really good. They're nice and creamy. Um, the lipstick that she's got on there, I did put it on, but it made me look too pale. So I've had to put on like three different layers of lipstick to make me look a bit more alive. But yeah, I love the eye colors. Very dramatic. Um, as you can see, her eyes are very red and so are mine. And um, yeah, just had some fun with some nice bright colours because the background is very grey, it's a grey brick wall and it's got the hanging light so I, I thought it might look a bit dark and I thought I'd just do some bright makeup but the bright makeup turned out to be a bit smoky but um, doesn't matter. Um, all good fun. So a lot of drama this week, especially towards the end of this week. So let's get started with the week. So as I'm looking down... I'm looking at my fluffy rainbow unicorn diary and she lost an eye <laughs> this week so I had to um, stick back the eye, glue the eye back on um, which never happened with the purple fluffy llama diary but that's okay. So flicking pages. So the week started on the 15th of June. And on Mondays, as I always do, I edited, uploaded and promoted the podcast. I uh, had a dentist appointment on Monday and I'm glad I went. Um, not that I had any teeth problems, but um, just to get a check up and clean and just um, had one of my teeth like um, polished up a bit. It was um, just a, a bit chipped and they put a layer, a coating on there so it looks nice and flat. Um, on Monday, the Justice of the Peace, oh, Justice of the Peace to sign my affidavit of identity. Oh, so on Monday, I took my paper for the, um, the Justice of the Peace to sign my paper because Facebook wouldn't allow me, Facebook and Instagram wouldn't allow me to promote my podcast on Black, Live, Black Lives Matter and um, Blackout Tuesday because it was a social issue event and you're not allowed to promote those sorts of um, podcasts or videos, which is absolutely stupid um, because other people can promote all sorts of ridiculous things and say all sorts of um, terrible things and they don't um, get those taken down. I don't know, they don't know, but... Um, for someone like me that wants to promote positivity or at least um, give you some information on what I experienced with the Black Lives Matter March and about Blackout Tuesday and my experience with it, I think it's important that they really promote those, not make you get an affidavit and sign um, that this is you who's talking about it. Um, so anyway, on, on Monday... I went to the neighbourhood house where there was a Justice of the Peace that signs for free because otherwise it's quite expensive. So I did that. Um, I waited for like two hours because there was quite a few people there. And so I did that on Monday. Um, I bought heaps of makeup. I've <laughs> been buying heaps. Oh my God, heaps and heaps and heaps of makeup from black owned beauty brands. And I'm embarrassed that my credit card is almost maxed out again. And just as I was paying it down. So I bought some makeup this time from Wise Girls. And I was actually buying it while I was waiting in line to see the Justice of the Peace. And um, I bought some stuff from Wise Girls who tweeted me on Twitter because of the post that I had done before and I'd never heard of them. And they tweeted and said, you know, look at our stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. And it's their, their makeup was really inexpensive and they had some lovely colours. So I ordered like six items from them and like really super cheap. So they should be coming in the next few weeks. Um, I also got... And this is one of the colours I've got on my lips. It's this awesome um, idea that they've got uh, from Glam Light. And this one, where, where should I put it so it doesn't shine, is called Hot Chocolate. And 
Isn't that cool? It's um, got a chocolate glass there. And this is the lip gloss here. And it's also the color that's like the top layer of the three colors that I've got um, that really brought my makeup to life. Uh, Glam Light. There's their logo. And they've got lots of other ones. They had ones with donuts, but I thought if it's called donut, every time I look at it, I'm going to want a donut. <laughs> Um, the, so this one's called Hot Chocolate. Not that you're going to be able to see that. That one's called Hot Chocolate. And this is a packaging. It's just wonderful. Um, I got this from Glam Radar, which is an uh, Australian website. So it's wonderful to be able to get these brands from Australia because then I can get them pretty quick. Um, when that comes from America, it takes two to three weeks. So it's wonderful that I can get these from here and get them pretty quick. So yeah, that's that one. Definitely look into that one. So Glam Radar is a website for Australia and the company is called Glam Light. And there's um, uh, an eyeshadow palette that there um, is their next release. Um, I think they sold out and it's birthday cake and it's in the shape of a birthday cake and it's got these gorgeous colours and I thought, you know, I don't have bright colours so... Um, I'll get it. So I'm on the wait list and I'm going to be so happy when I get it. And I've also <laughs> put down to get the donut lip gloss because that's sold out as well. So <laughs> I'll get them both. Um, so that was, yeah, and that was um, Glam Light was started by a lady called Giselle who is, she's um, a Latina um, who... Um, moved to America as I don't I can't remember if it's migrant or immigrant, but moved when she was younger to America and started this uh, makeup label. And at first, she just did like normal eyeshadow palettes because she was too scared to do what she really wanted. And then she just decided after she had done a few palettes and made a little bit of money, she thought, no, I'm just going to do what I really want. And she put out a pizza eyeshadow palette and it just went crazy and um, everything skyrocketed for her. And now she's in this massive warehouse and doing great things and everybody's copying her. So um, always pace to be true to yourself, even if it's a bit scary. I mean, I know the pizza eyeshadow is really scary, but just better to put it out there and see what people think. So yeah, she's doing she's doing really well now. Um, I also got some lipsticks from a company called Clarity Cosmetics, uh, again black owned company, and uh, that was that's still on Monday. <laughs> I was doing a lot of shopping on Monday, um, and something told me you know just wait, and then a few days later everything's gone on sale, but it doesn't matter. So I'm waiting for that. So I've got two nude coloured lipsticks and a lip gloss. And um, yeah, they'll be coming in the next few weeks. Um, on Monday, I also got ahead of myself, which is really good. And I edited the video podcast. Um, I've also got a, um, a brand deal, as I said a little bit in the last video, um, the last podcast with Ray and Rose. And I've got, so it's Ray, R-A-Y-N, rose.com. And I've got a promo code and it's CR30 off. So if you go to this website, and this is for eyewear, if you go to this website and you put in my promo code, you get 30% off sunglasses. So I'm waiting for these glasses to come. And when I do it, I think I'm going to do... Uh, the pink back background because the glasses are pink rimmed and there's a pink lens on there and I thought it was really cute um, so when that comes I'll put on the glasses and I'll do a big promo for it um, I also got some lipsticks from Ofra uh, I don't think that one is black owned but I see Nikki Tutorials is always talking about them so I thought I'd just get some lipstick so that was nice in the drawer and I can't be bothered getting them now. I um, also got a red hoodie from Glam Goth, which is this awesome black owned beauty brand, um, obviously goth based. And I just love the website and I love their products, but I could only get one product because they're sold out of everything. And then I noticed I have jumpers. So I got a hoodie and it's red and it's got the Glam Goth logo. And I am really looking forward to getting that. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. 
Um, I also uploaded the podcast to YouTube. I got a surprise call from my billionaire mentor. Wasn't expecting that. And he I was just complaining about the designers for my invention. And he called me and and he wanted to do a video chat, but my hair looked like, you know, um, crazy cat lady hair. And I'm like, no, no, we can't. I'm like, my hair looks an absolute mess. And he goes, doesn't matter, you know. Um, you know, we haven't seen each other. We've just spoken on the phone. I'm like, no, 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 no. And um, he said, okay, okay. So I said to him next time, I'm like, today, I just, no. And my room looked an absolute mess and no. But we did have a good chat and um, that was really nice of him to call because he was concerned about what I was saying. Um, so that was good and he helped me with the, with that issue. Um um, so I bought the power collection from Coloured Rain. So once again, Coloured Rain is a black owned beauty brand. And I got um, from the power series that um, 50 Cent is, I think he's in the show and he also is the executive producer. I don't know if he came up with the idea, uh, but it's a really big show. I saw the first series, which he wasn't in. But it got kind of boring and I'm like, hi hi. so I haven't watched it since, but it apparently it's gotten like really good. And then I saw the makeup was discounted. And so I got some lip gloss, some eyeshadow and I think some um, highlighter and blush. So that should be coming in the next few weeks. And I also bought from Juvia's Place, which I love, and I was wearing the makeup from last week, was from Juvia's Place. I got violets, a, a little mini palette with all violet colours, and it's I'm not a purple person. There's just something about it that I really liked. Um, so I got that, and just did some, because uh, I can sew, so I just took up some pants for mum and some um, short and some long sleeves on on some items that she's got her nighty and and I can't remember what the other thing was. So that was Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, mum had a telehealth appointment. And that was <laughs> interesting when you've got older people with technology. It is so funny. And her head wasn't in the screen and she's waving and all you can see is a hand. And I'm like, you've got to sit close the doctor can't see you. <laughs> and then she was leaning backwards and I'm like, you can only see your eyes sit up. <laughs> Ah, uh, oldies. Um, so we had a telehealth appointment and her blood test came back. Re um, doctor's really happy, so we're all good for another three months because mum has to have a, a blood test every three months and they just continue checking, make sure that she's fine, everything's all good. Uh, I started my self-confidence course on Wednesday, which is really good. It's a really good course. Um... I always think with these confidence courses, oh, losers do them and they're just going to say stupid, you know, motivational, you can do it stuff. But this one is really good. It's um, it's really smart. It's um, it's very different to anything that I've done like way in the past. I used to read self-help books like crazy, but I really needed them back then and, and tapes and back then. <laughs> And um, yeah, and I thought, I just don't want to do it anymore, but it's really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, and on Wednesday, as always, I have dinner at my sister's house. And on Wednesday, that is when we also made the upside down pineapple cake. And it came out pretty well. It was really tasty, a lovely juicy um, pineapple flavor. And yeah, gluten free, dairy free, and um, I'll put the recipe up. Um, I'll put a link in the description and I'll put the recipe up so you can have a look. Really easy to do. My nephew had a great time. He was saying that it's a bit strange um, because of the way he said it's weird how we're making it because you have to put the pineapples on the bottom and then the batter on top. And he's like, this is weird. <laughs> and um, he didn't eat any because it's healthy, so he's not going to eat any. He's seven. But yeah, it looked good and we and we had it warm and it, it came out just fine. No pineapple was left behind in the tin. And we had it with um, lactose free ice cream and it was delicious. So that was Wednesday. And then on Thursday, um, this guitar guitarist um, 
contacted me and asked me to use some of his guitar samples so that I can make my beats with. But the one thing I didn't like him saying was that if I use his guitar samples, it has to say that it's produced by him. But I don't think that's very fair because I'm the one who's making the whole beat. Like I've got thousands of samples. I have to find the right drums. I have to find the right keys, the cymbals, percussion. I have to put it together. And then all I'm using is his guitar sample. So why should I say that he produced it? He didn't produce it. He produced a guitar sample, but he didn't produce the whole beat. So I've had a listen to the guitar samples and he's got some... Um, with Post Malone, um, influenced by Post Malone, which I liked. So I might use that, but I'm going to say to him, I'm not going to put that you produce the whole track. I'll put that you feature in it or you only produce the guitar sample, but I'm not putting you as producer. That's just not fair. And if he doesn't like it, then I'll just take out that guitar sample and I'm sure it'll sound fine on its own. And I um, also got some details from... Uh, another beat company, a uh, beat company asking me to be a part of a beat competition. Um, Floating Roots is what they're called. I've got um, a post on my Insta. I was going to try and keep them anonymous. But the um, samples that they've given you to use to make the beat are very down and they're very dark and I don't like it. And I tried my best to make a, a beat with them, but it, uh, they were just too dark. So um, I was just throwing all these things on there to make it sound happier. And then I thought, no, I've just got to remove the um, their sample from it, which made it sound so much better. And then I just finished off the beat as a dance bit and then I thought I'll try and put back in their sample, but I chopped it up so it's like tiny. You, it's, there's like a tiny sample of their, of their, there's just a tiny selection of their sample left in the beat that you can barely hear. So, and I'm not too sure about the competition. Like I think, I thought it was monthly, but he was saying get it in by the end of the week. And I just haven't had a chance to go back and have a look, so I might contact him and and see how you know how you do it. So maybe these samples are for the whole month, and you've got every week you can put in a new beat. So yeah, I need to contact him about that. Um, uh, yes, on Thursday I spoke to the um, designer for my invention because he was saying. Um, not to do things like this and not to do like that and he didn't like this and that but that was his opinion and I had my own opinion of how it should look and it should be and that's what the um, the billionaire was saying to me you've got to s stick to your ground like stand your ground and make sure that because you're paying them they've got to make what you want not what they want so I stood my ground and I told him how I wanted it and I told him what I wanted him to do so um, I'm gonna. I'm waiting to hear back from them. So it's getting closer, which is good. And then I just have to figure out about the money. Um, that's the next part: asking people for money and asking him for money. <laughs> I need him to invest. I haven't asked him yet, but I'm sure he he knows that I need him. Um, and on Thursday, I uploaded the pineapple recipe to my blog. Um, and also on Thursday, Dad's memory is fading and he took the car um, to go for a walk around these particular parks and then he forgot where he left the car. So then we had to go looking for it and there was just this massive debacle and I had to take the key from him and now he's not allowed to drive. So um, not the best scenario, but yeah, that was a very stressful night. So that was Thursday, pretty busy week. Um, and then on Friday, I uploaded my beat of the week, Siren, which I love. So Siren is like those mermaids that sit on the rocks that call out to the sailors and they get um, trashed against the rocks. So that's what I mean when I say Siren. And um, yeah, that beat went up on Friday and I promoted it. Um, also started making the beat on Friday with that sample and the, the sample I used is called Paris but it's very dark 
And, yeah, so on Fridays when I had a lot of trouble with um, what I um, had to do to make that beat sound really good. Um, on Friday, it was also Juneteenth, which I've never heard of um, being in Australia and not to sound ignorant, but, you know, being why as well. I don't know anything about Juneteenth. So I've got my phone here. And I just want to go through the post that I put up on Instagram. And the post says, On Juneteenth, we celebrate black liberation. On June 19th, 1865, enslaved people in Texas received the news that they were free two and a half years after slavery was abolished in the U.S. So after these people were told in Texas that they were free, that was when slavery was abolished. I didn't know that. And this, um, I saw a post there. I saw a post um, in my feed from this girl and it said, you know, white people stay in your lane. And I really took offence to that. Why would you be rude when you can say something about Juneteenth? Because I've never heard of it. And consider social media is worldwide. Why not say something, you know, this was the day we were freed and stay in your own lane. <laughs> like put, you know, maybe put some more information into it. And then I just got all this hate and I just ignored it because um, it's just ignorant comments um, and the girl after I said you know maybe instead of saying stay in your own lane white people maybe educate people and explain Juneteenth and she said I don't owe I don't have to work on this day or any day for white people why don't you go you know Google is free and I thought that's so rude um, and you know she has every right to say what she wants to and I have every right to say what I want to but I just think that if you have the opportunity to educate people that would be the best thing to do and then you just get all these ignorant people with all these ignorant comments underneath and I wasn't impressed so I just know in future when I see a post like that maybe just to ignore it um, because I, I, I understand, you know, you're angry, but there's no need to put posts up like that. But, yeah. So, anyway, that was that's what Juneteenth is about. And I got that post from Matt Cosmetics. Um, so, if you check my Instagram on um, CNS songs, and it's also on my beauty one too, um, the C is Beauty World, I put it on that one. Um, and then I didn't get because usually people sometimes come to your page and hate on what you're saying but I think that they went back to my page and maybe had a look and saw that I am pro-black and to me black lives do matter and I am on your side uh, but then I noticed that somebody else asked her what is Juneteenth and she told them and that's all I wanted just say what Juneteenth is it's the end of slavery in the U.S. That's what she should have put in her post. Juneteenth is the end of slavery in the US and white people stay in your lane. You know, how you, you're telling people what Juneteenth is and you're telling people to stay away because you've had enough of, of us. I don't know. I'm not used to that sort of talk. You know, in Australia, it's not black or white, but in America it is. And I'm really sorry that um, you have to go through that. Um, but yeah, it's not, my life is not black or white, it's everyone. So I don't see, I've, you know, I've never seen in Australia someone say, you know, white people, you know, stay in your lane. I've never seen that before. I just was really offended by it's better to educate people and tell them about Juneteenth than, you know, offend everyone. But you know what, she has every right to say whatever she wants. Um, so that was Friday and then on Saturday, as always, heaps and heaps of um, housework and my sister came over to help with some of the handyman stuff because my dad can't do it anymore. So we were hammering nails and fixing walls and fixing floors and doing the gardening and painting and like all sorts of stuff. Um, I also, on Tuesday, got this gorgeous eye um, lipstick from a brand called Uoma, Uoma, U-O-M-A, Uoma. Um, once again, I saw this from Nikki Tutorials, this brand. So it's a black-owned beauty brand. And I got this awesome lipstick called um, Maya. 
Um, I'm guessing it's after Maya Angelou and it's from the Badass Icon Matte Collection and I'm looking forward to receiving that. And then I got two more lipsticks. This is so bad from the lip bar. I uh, really love their lipsticks, their matte lipsticks. So I got a red one and a skin colored one. And the thing that I really admire about the black owned beauty brands is that they cater for white people as well, considering that the white brands didn't cater for black skins, yet they don't mind and they cater for us. And they even have categories for light, fair and dark. And, you know, that's so good of them. I'm really impressed by that. So, you know, um, good for you guys. That's really good. Um, on Friday, on Saturday, I also continued with my confidence course. It's just a matter of trying to find time between everything to do it. And then on Saturday, we have Dramageddon Part 3. I don't know what Dramageddon Part 1 is, but Part 3 is now with Jeffree Star and everyone. And because of this, I am now going to sell and give away my Jeffree Star cosmetics and I'm done with him. Jeffree Star is cancelled and Shane Dawson is cancelled. I am so fed up with all the lies and all the bullshit and all the rubbish um, that he says. And this might get me into trouble too, but I remember when he was on his um, Insta stories or Snapchat and he was talking about the black officers for George Floyd and they hadn't arrested him and they, ha they hadn't arrested the main guy and they hadn't arrested the other ones. But it just seemed so fake to me. There was nothing really genuine about it. And I'm like, hang on, why, why are you talking about it? Um, I don't know. It just didn't seem right to me. I'm like, what the hell? Um, it just, it just uh, didn't seem right to me. And... Um, and now this week, so much, like in the last few days, so much has happened with Cameron, who, Cameron Lester, who said that, um, and this awesome video from Liam that was talking, it was really well researched, um, really smart person. And he was saying um, about Jeffree Star and his past and um, he had a lot of tea. And Ashley, who was saying that she was used by Jeffree Star, that he was feeding her information to help him for his own purposes against um, Tati. And poor Tati, who was used and now she's not on um, YouTube and she's taken a break for the last couple of months because she felt so used by what happened with James Charles and poor James Charles being ganged up on by 30-year-old grown men bullying a 19-year-old um, with um, that Shane was involved in um, Tati's video, you know, um, talking about James Charles and the waiter and, and all that and Tab talking about Jeffree Star being racist and the things that he was saying and the mean things that he was saying about Rich Lux and the mean things he was saying about Trisha and you know what, I'm just done. Uh, there's just so much drama and people continue to leave his life for a reason. He's always the main person there and everyone else leaves and there must be a reason. So I'm just done. I just, he's just such a liar. He's a racist. I don't like the things that I continue to hear. And there was also another beauty YouTuber, I forgot what his name is. And he said that he started looking online. Um, people were telling him about Jeffree Star and he was watching videos. He, there are so many videos about him and the the video that Liam did which was so beautifully researched because he's studying anthropology I think it was saying was taken down because apparently what happens is people falsely accuse you of having information on that video that is copyrighted and you get a copyright strike but it's fake 
and apparently Jeffree Star does this or other people like Jeffree Star fans do this to get the video down and this video was taken down mainly because you can't argue against it it was researched really well and it has some fantastic information and I'm really glad that I saw it it was it was just brilliant and yeah Jeffree Star couldn't fight it because it was all fact and it was really well researched so I'm just done I'm getting rid of all my Jeffree Star stuff and I'm really not happy about it and the cremated collection that came out um, today has not sold out very few items have sold out like a, a lipstick a lip gloss or something everything is still available and apparently he's losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers um, all the time he's already lost over a hundred thousand subscribers and I think what he did to James Charles is now coming back to bite him on the butt um, he's a bully he's a racist he's um, a master manipulator and I'm done I don't want to put any more money in his pocket so I'll leave that in your hands you can research it have a look for yourself there's so much drama going on everyone is talking about it and you know we should educate ourselves you know don't be ignorant educate yourself have a look at the videos decide for yourself but i'm done i'm getting rid of everything and i'm sad about it too because i really like the cosmetics they're so good the eyeshadows are so good and and it's fun like he's fun they're like when you watch his videos and things like that his lifestyle and all that and you know shane dawson too i really enjoyed watching them but um, yeah, I'm just going to have to do a detox now, get rid of, of unsubscribed from everything. I've unfollowed them from everywhere and I'm done with them. So you guys decide. So make sure you look after your mental health as well. Um, yeah, I think if you've seen like Shane Dawson is trending and um, he's taken down the posts where he's put up what everyone's talking about. Um, you decide, but, you know look after your mental health um, don't let people bully you and take you down talk to your doctor talk to your friends you can have on online counseling call lifeline call beyond blue um, look after yourself um, share this podcast with your friends or someone you think would like to hear or see it's a bit of an odd <laughs> thing to say next but um, we're at the end of the podcast um, share leave comments um leave nice reviews on um itunes or apple or wherever you listen to the podcast and um i might start reading some of them out um which will be nice and um the beat of the week is dream big it's a bit of a dark beat kind of going with the dark smoky theme uh it's a bit of a dark beat but i think it goes really well with dream big because you know when you've got a dream and you want to go for it it's hard um, there's a lot of obstacles, people against you, you know. So I think it really works. I think when I get a chance to write some lyrics and put it out, I think it'll be really good, but um, that won't be for a while. But the beat's out, so I hope you like it. Thank you to everyone who has been leaving nice comments and encouraging me, so that's really, really nice. So take care of yourselves, look after your mental health, educate yourself. And um, have a good week and I will speak to you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.